Listen, baby. We about to get real. What I tell you next may trigger you. It may take you back to a dark place. It may make you feel like the world doesn't make sense. But if you rock with it, then this story be for you. If it does not resonate, it just wasn't your message. I guarantee you, this is what spirit wants you to know. Are you ready? Time on my hands since you've been away, boy. I ain't got no plans. No, no, no. Is that your man over there? Hmm. I saw him at the club last week. And the sound of the rain uh, against my window pane is slowly, slowly driving me insane. Ooh, baby. Mm-mm. Out there running around with them pound puppies. Mm-mm. He a pound puppy selling that parvo pussy. (laughs) He a pound puppy selling that parvo pussy. Wait, 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 wait. Is that your man over there? I saw him at the club last week. Uh huh. He was a little pound puppy selling that parvo pussy. And I got his number. <laughs> Time on my hands. Since you've been away, boy. I ain't got no plans. No, no, no. And the sound of the rain. Uh, against my window pane is slowly, slowly driving me insane. Woo, baby, I'm going down. I'm going down. Cause you ain't around, baby. My whole world. Sleep don't come easy. He a pound puppy selling that parvo pussy. I ended up in this really, really strong cycle of intense love with someone and I could not understand why at the same time I was so drawn to them I was simultaneously repelled so far away until I dug a little bit deeper in my own self and I had to ask myself like Ebony why are you doing the things that you're doing Why are you trying to bag this little thundercat? Why are you trying to get this dick right now? What is your main goal? Because for all intents and purposes, the way that I loved up until that point was hit it and quit it. And maybe I hit it for a year. Maybe I hit it for three months, six months, two years. But for all intents and purposes, I had a stable of, of, of Thundercats that I would use for my own sexual gratification and then I would discard them as I so pleased because that's who I was as a woman. And then I bagged the ultimate Thundercat and when I did that, I realized that I had been toxically avoiding 
relationships and getting into something real because I refused to see what it was that the good Lord had been trying to show me about the relationships in my life and they were very stunted because I was am a survivor now but at the then back then I was a victim of childhood abuse and brainwashing and when you are brainwashed to think that life is supposed to look this way and it's never going to be all the way good and love doesn't really feel this way because it's not it's never going to feel this way when you've been brainwashed to settle for less settling for less is the norm and going and reaching and achieving a bit higher up feels foreign a f and i had to toughen up mentally i had to break a generational cycle of abandonment and sadness because i needed to see that abuse is real and it can trickle and follow you along throughout your life the benefits the good news is is that when you give your life to the lord he will show you the truth and it is hard but he would never show you and put you through something that you cannot overcome we as people have seen so much and we shall overcome but the only way to overcome is to scratch the surface and nick the surface on whatever this lie is what is this lie that you've been telling yourself for all of these years mine used to be that my grandmother was like the worst person in the world and i couldn't understand why i still loved her so much i could not understand why that why if she was this evil wicked witch of the east west whatever why was it that i was still drawn to her in whatever type of way and it's because god spirit was trying to show me the the energy of karma and what it really looks like in my own life my own mother let's forget about my grandmother let's talk about my mother because i went through a deep 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 depression when my mother died because i needed to release the old issues of abandonment because she left me when she was in her heyday and so i had to unpack that and figure out what this guilt was that was holding me back all of my life and i used to think that the guilt that was holding me back all of my life was that my mom wasn't around and she wasn't with me and so i had to carry around all of this trauma that said i wasn't good enough because the woman that birthed me chose to run away from our our relationship before i was even old enough to say goo goo gaga i had to unpack that and really begin to take a real look at the people around me and so since my mother left the only family members that i had that i could rely on were my grandmother and my dad and so again i couldn't understand why i didn't like betty jean even though i loved her i couldn't understand why she was so mean if she loved me and then i had to recognize that sometimes the people in your life can only give you what they've got and if they have someone in their life that's taken away from their self-esteem as well then they can't give you very much and i had to really unpack the idea that domestic violence and sexual abuse spousal abuse is really the kicker and the key to unlocking why it is that i don't really do relationships like that why it is that i look at certain men and i say oh my god you are a rapist i don't want you on me or on top of me or around me i still have ptsd from times when i can't even i can think about it i can tell it to myself but i won't tell you i'll spare you the gory details but i do want you to think about that in your own life because when the lord opens your eyes and all is seen it's up to you to walk to the other side of the light carol Ann. 
it's up to you to fully and completely understand that maybe there was no poltergeist in your home. Maybe all the doors slamming was someone who had mental health issues that was in your life taking care of you, but you couldn't question it because you were simply a child. And when you are a child, you think like a child, but when you grow up and you overcome those childish ways, then you become a man out here in these motherfucking streets. Healing your inner child and making your dreams come true will make them true, but it will also show you the boogeyman in the closet that's been fucking touching you under the covers and shit like that. I'm going to take some of y'all down to the bottom where the hoes get naked. And why did the hoes get naked? Why do they think that's the only way that they can make a little change by doing some shit that's kind of sort of fucking strange? We're going to talk about the truth. And the truth will set you free, but before you can be free, you got to figure out, number one, that there are chains on your wrists. And number two, you have the key to unlocking those chains. You can let it go at any time. <laughs>